if you look at a muscle diagram, like a body that just shows muscles, you'll see that these muscles fall upon our body almost like a cape. And underneath, there's all the rest of the, the muscles. So what we can do is, since these regular muscles are putting some stress on the elbow, and you'll notice, especially, you know, you rotate and you squeeze, and you'll notice that that stress is more when you tighten this index and middle finger tighter. You'll feel it go into your elbow, and you could watch the muscles bounce up and down. So the two little finger muscles, though, their tendons attach to the lower arm muscles. The lower arm muscles go to the chest and the stomach. So if you close your grip or you grasp the tennis ball, or even if the initial grasp of a bowling ball starts by closing the two little fingers first, you use muscles that are going down the lower arm muscle. So now, if you squeeze those lower arm muscles, you'll notice that the tension, or some of the tension, is taking off of the upper arm and neck and shoulders, and instead you're using these muscles. You can still be using the neck and shoulder muscles, of course, but what we're doing is we're adding the use of these lower arm muscles. So we, when we look at performance, if you're only grabbing and you can only feel tension here, you're just using the muscles that go like a cape on your body. If you grab using your lower fingers, you start to activate these lower arm muscles, chest and stomach muscles, and you can still grab on with these two fingers. So you're using, say, 100% of the muscles that are going up the arm as opposed to only using half of them that are going up on the top or half of them going on the bottom. So depending on what the activity is depends on which muscles do you want to use. Do you want to use these muscles or do you want to use these muscles or do you want to use both? So just knowing the bi biodynamics that these two fingers go along the upper arm to the neck and shoulders, these two fingers go along the lower arm to the chest and stomach, and that you can mix and match them for different performance options is again part of the knowledge of the biodynamics, but it's also enhancing your performance capability from 50% to 100% as well. And this is where the, the study of these biodynamics offer a huge advantage when you could add another 50% of, of muscle use into your performance. So now what we'll see is that when we lead the, the arm by using the elbow and we add the fact that we, we grab little fingers first and then close the palm, you're going to feel that a lot of that tension in the elbow is now gone. So it makes it safer. You still have pressure, but you'll notice that you have a strong grip, but it took some of the tension out of the elbow. So just like we want to take care of our knees, we also want to take care of our elbows.